Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to read Big Bear Hug by Nicholas Oldham. There was once a bear so filled with love and happiness that whenever he roamed the forest and came across another living thing, he would give it a big hug. Everywhere he wandered, the bear shared his love, hug by hug. He even hugged creatures that bears have been known to eat. This bear could meet the roundest little rabbit, and he would just stop, smile, and give it a great big hug. Hmm, sounds friendly. No animal was too big. I love that moose's expression. Look at the face. How do you think he's feeling right now? Hmm. Too small, too smelly, or too scary to hug. But what this bear loved most to hug were the trees. That's a bear after my own heart. The bear never met a tree he didn't like. Big trees, little trees, apple trees, pear trees, peach trees. This bear hugged them all. One day, while the bear was trying to hug a beaver and a tree at the same time, he noticed a man with an ax walking into the forest. Hmm, I'm gonna stop and make a prediction here. I wonder what that man is doing in the forest with an ax. The bear followed the man until he stopped at one of the tallest, oldest, and most beautiful trees in the forest. The man spent so much time looking at this magnificent tree that the bear thought he must love the tree too. But to the bear's horror, the man started to chop the tree down. For the first time in his life, the bear didn't feel like hugging at all. Ooh, I wonder how he does feel right now. Then, just as the bear was about to sink his teeth into the man, the bear stopped. He realized that no matter how angry he was, he simply could not eat the man. It just wasn't his nature. The bear sighed. And then he decided to do what he did best. Hmm, what do you think that might be? He gave the man a hug. Well, now look at that man's expression. How do you think he's feeling right now? The man was not used to getting real big bear hugs. So once the bear let go, the man dropped his ax and ran far, far away. And do you know what the bear did next? The bear smiled and gave the tree a great big hug. The tree felt much better. The end. Doesn't everybody feel a little better after a great big hug? Have a wonderful day.